All right, uh, could you tell us who you are, where you're from, and why you came to Detroit 2013? My name's Josh Dolan. I'm from Ithaca, New York. Um, I, I uh, work with a project there called Gardens for Humanity. Uh, I'm also involved in community radio back there, and I uh, farm and produce maple syrup. Um, you can look it up, Sap Squatch. I'd love it if it was the movement syrup. Um, I came to Detroit again. Uh, I came last year for the end of uh, Detroit 2012 because it was such a, uh, a powerful place to see. It, it really exemplifies uh, what, what the end game of capitalism is. Um, and this year I've, I've come to a much deeper understanding of um, some of the mechanisms that capitalism is using here in Detroit and experimenting and planning on using across the rest of the country to um, grab land, to push out poor people, and kind of finalize the, the destruction of our communities. Um, I also had an opportunity to spend some time at the Hush House over on Wabash Street in um, Zone 8. And, um, you know, this is a neighborhood that people call quote unquote scary town. I think there, there is an element of that. I, I, um, I definitely um, feel like you would need to be cautious going over there. but. It, that doesn't mean that there's also not really strong, compassionate, loving community there um, that wants to make that community better and um, repair um, the damage that has been done here in Detroit and, and by extension the damage that has been done across the country in black and brown communities and across the world, um, most of the world um, being colonized by Europeans. Um, I also came here to connect with other activists, to, to do networking, but also just to have a shared experience with people that are like-minded, um, who understand some of the personal struggles I go through, and to kind of process some of these things that we're seeing and the emotions that we've been feeling, the spiritual um, kind of crisis that uh, we have been feeling not just as individuals but as, as a whole humanity. So I think that, that really came into focus this year and I really appreciate that that was such a strong um, theme throughout um, my time here. So, um, yeah, thank you. And what are you going to take back with you to Ithaca from this year? Um, well, a lot of uh, undigested um, Lentil paste, that's for sure. <laughs> May have overdone it on the lentil paste. The food was really good. Um, I think what I'm going to take back is relationships this year. I feel like the last time I was here, I just scratched the surface of Detroit. I know a few people from before now. I'm deepening those relationships, but now I feel like there's a whole community of people in, in Detroit here and across the country that are my true brothers and sisters now. You know, even though I, I may be out of touch and I uh, might not hear about their exploits or hear about their struggles, uh, they'll be in my heart. So, um, that's something I really appreciate. Cool. Um, last question. You have 30 seconds to pitch to why you should go to Detroit 2014 to somebody who doesn't know about it or is on the fence, um, what are you going to say? Um, I think we all need to take a look at what the post-apocalypse looks like because it lives here in Detroit. Um, and not to say that it's um, you know all bad, it's really bad, but it's also beautiful and brilliant and um, wears the face of an extremely strong and powerful community that has historic roots 
that has touched all of our lives, the movements that we've been involved in, through the music that we listen to, um, to um, what's coming down um, to us in the future. Um, it's coming from Detroit. Great. Thank you. Okay.